Hi everyone, today we are making this uh, Transferring full body motion from someone in a video to a person on still image and will take no more than 10 minutes We are not going through the science of how it works but straight to making one for yourself with Google Collab before I get your hands all dirty, hold your horses to appreciate the work of authors and contributors for a liquid GAN. Grab the first link in the description that will direct you to this collab script, which is heavily simplified for your convenience. You can start by making a copy of this script to your drive. Run the first cell which will set up the environment, install dependencies, download the pre-trained models, well, go make yourself some coffee. This will take a moment like 5 minutes. The second cell will take all the inputs. Before you give any inputs though, execute the cell. There are two major inputs, the source image. To which the motion is transferred and reference video from which we extract the motion. You can provide the source image in various ways and they are listed in different tabs. You can either pick one from the provided sample for demo or upload your own image or refer image straight from the web. For now I will be using one of the sample image. In the same fashion, you can mention your reference video from provided sample, get from a YouTube video, upload your own video, or refer to a video on the web. All of the video samples have someone dancing in them. I will select one of the sample video. The start and end time are used to trim the video in case they are long. Setting them to minus 1 leaves the video untrimmed. Other inputs like Pose FC and Cam FC can be left unchanged. Finally, execute the last cell. This will take some time, uh, depending on the length of the reference video. Mine took about 10 minutes. When it's done, your output is displayed. This is easy as it gets. Now let's say you have a picture of a person. It could be your friend or just some victim of your meme. It is best if the picture has only one person standing, preferably in T pose and with a distinct feature of legs and arms. Go back to the second cell and switch to upload from PC tab. Here, out of three upload option, only the first, which is for front-facing image, is essential. Back-facing and background images are optional to remove artifacts. Sometimes, when the person on the reference video turns around, Liquid GAN reuses the texture resulting in two-faced person on the front and back of the head. Adding the back-facing image will solve the issue. To further remove any artifacts due to moving subject, you can add the clean background image without the person on it. Once done, make sure you don't change the tabs again. For reference video, you can again go with the provided sample video, but let's take a YouTube video. YouTube video can be long and we might just be interested in a small portion of video. So just note the start and end time of the video you're interested in trimming. Similar to source image, you want the trimmed video to have only one person with distinct feature of legs and arms and steady camera for best results. If you have multiple people in them, you want to crop the video and upload them. Just paste the YouTube URL link and the noted start and end time in seconds. You can ignore the rest of the setting and execute this last cell. After a good break, your results will be waiting for you. 
Looks like Gigi lost all her curves there. If you don't want that to happen to your model, you can have images taken at multiple angles and upload them all together as your source image. This will get you the best results. Technology is getting better and it's getting hard to differentiate what is real and fake. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. In fact, we don't hold any responsibility for any wrongdoings from the tools learned from this video. If you are curious how Liquid GAN works, there is a link to the paper in the description. We would very appreciate your support. So please spread this video like wildfire. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for exciting videos to come, like AI predicting someone's face just from their voice, or emails in painting, all in simplified collab notebooks. You could also binge our previous videos like deep fake for facial expression, cloning someone's voice, upscaling tiny images, coloring old black and white photos, making slow motion videos from regular video files, and many more. Have a great day. Thank you.